So... I don't know what to do. Um, I mean, like, I do, I'm almost overwhelmed by ideas and by lack of ideas all at the same time. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Do you guys ever, like, clean out your desk and just find so much change? Like, what business do I have having so many quarters? I have literally no idea where all of that came from. If this is your first time here, my name is Marie. I'm a high school English teacher in San Diego, California, and I am doing a little summer series revamping and resetting up my classroom, my high school English classroom. Um, and actually, right now, I am going to head to the Target because I think that they have an espresso maker that I really want on clearance. And so um, it's called the caffeinated classroom for a reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that out. And then I'm heading back to my classroom today because I'm really enjoying, there's like therapy in going through all of this. Um, I mean, life update, I am a newly single mom and uh, it's been a rough year. <laughs> so spending time literally working through my feelings and thoughts and things is really Really good for me. Idle time for me is not good right now. Yes, I am relaxing. Yes, I'm doing all the things. But for me right now, self-care means doing things that uh, fill me up. And part of that is creating spaces that I can enjoy and that students can enjoy and that I can enjoy with them. And it is getting really toasty in this car. So let's go to the Target. Okay. Hello! So I've made it to my classroom after my extremely abundant Target haul. Like I found more than I was even looking for. Legitimately I went there looking for a coffee maker. <laughs> Didn't find a coffee maker. Well I mean I found coffee makers but not the clearance one that I was hoping to find. Yesterday when I was here and I was working on the cabinets uh, and the wall and the reading corner. That is all very much still going to be happening, but I think today I need to turn my, well, first thing I need to do is clean up because it's one of those things where the bomb has gone off. I've had a couple of coworkers come by, my friends come by and they went, oh, and I was like, I know, I know, I know. I found out exactly when carpets are gonna be cleaned to make sure that I can be all cleaned up before that happens so that I don't make my problems somebody else's problems. Um, and now I just, I need, I, I need to take care of this stuff uh, and get some of the things out of here that need to go across campus to like the theater and to the theater classroom so that I can have the things for teaching drama over there. And then, friends, we are going to be focusing on the teacher desk area because the teacher desk area needs a little TLC. So I'm gonna clean up and then hopefully we will make a plan together. You're gonna help me. Then I'll be able to see the forest through the trees in creating a better teacher desk area. Off I go. Okay, well, moving all of that out of this room definitely made a difference. Um, you can see, big difference, but now um, all of the wind has left my sails. So I'm not going to be doing all of that today. I think I'm gonna go home and do some brainstorming and figure out 
what I really need there uh, and look back at my classroom planner that I created. Um, I have a free download if you want it. It is going to be linked in the description box down below that basically leads you through how to use your classroom space in the most efficient and effective ways possible and then how to create a space that you love out of the things that you need to be effective and efficient. So. I need to go back to that because I got a little overwhelmed by all of the things. Um, those books that I moved, I am excited to create some sort of like a free library, free book Friday situation. Our library does one, but we're kind of across campus, so it might be nice to have multiple racks going on where students can get books because they were just in a beautiful rainbow, but like collecting dust in my classroom. So I think it's time for kids to actually use them. Uh, but this is going to be a uh, multi-day video because I'm done now. I am I am done now. It's time to go home and have chase my Diet Coke with an iced coffee. So I will catch you on the flip side. We meet again. Listen, it's been like a full weekend and change. It's been a whole 4th of July since I started this video and now I think I might have the strength and a wrist guard to tackle the behemoth behind me. It's one of those things that's just gotten worse in my brain as the days have gone on. So I just need to jump in, okay? I'm gonna start by making piles and then I'm gonna show you the piles for um, a little accountability here. <laughs> so, I don't know what to do. Um, I mean like I do I'm almost overwhelmed by ideas and by lack of ideas all at the same time Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I've made for myself a little list of Things it's nothing shocking, but I've got like my computer and my computer monitor my printer and printer paper the standing desk the table desk because like I said I think in an earlier video in the series um, I am co-teaching every time I'm in here and so my co-teacher and I both need like space to be able to work um, we just need surfaces, honestly, like cleared surfaces. The phone needs to be here. We need a place for our like bags and our personal items. And I need, I so, I have two bins full of books that I somehow in my pretty little head think I'm gonna fit back here. I do have these shelves that I put up, but like they are bowing from the amount of books that I put on them before. So I kind of think it's time for me to edit deeply what I have going on. And let me show you like down here this is a lot of personal items that quite frankly i just don't need necessarily in here like i don't i just don't need them in here right now um so i'm going to not have them in here and open up some space for us to put like our bags maybe that can go there i don't know i'm working on this like physical space where i've got these tables right here the standing desk the just need to make sure that there's move, room for two bodies to move and work back here and also get around each other because different students need each of us for different reasons. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere. So on second, third, 19th, on 19th thought, I don't think I'm actually gonna move any of this furniture. I am simply going to clear things off. So like right now, this area right here, you're kind of thinking to yourself, you've got a full blown table and a standing desk and a table behind you. Let me explain why. My co-teacher generally will have her like station be at this regular height table. I will genuinely, or generally, like while students are working, right? While we're not like running around, uh, be at the standing desk, which also has the desktop computer, right? Like gotta be anchored to this wall, cannot move because all of the connections are right here. Um, and then this table can get all of the piles of things that we end up having that are like actively being worked on, like work that's getting graded, blah, blah, blah. We have certain days that we grade and certain days that we do other things. Back here can be a place where those can go and not get lost and not 
get in the way. And then underneath, I am greatly editing all of the personal items, like I said before, that I have in this room. Keeping food, keeping, you know, tampons, keeping a hair straightener because I'm not, I'm not not myself. I definitely have a hair straightener in every place that I occupy. Um, yeah, I just, it already feels a little bit like more open and clear. And rather than having all the books up on these shelves, I'm going to put them in the actual bookshelf down below that like where they're supposed to go. Something that's built for that kind of weight. And then I might put a few up there for decor. <sighs> I'm feeling a lot better. Oh, here's the other thing I need to do. Do you guys ever like clean out your desk and just find so much change? Like, what business do I have having so many quarters? I have literally no idea where all of that came from, but I don't know. I guess I'll just like hold on to it in case they, kids don't need money though anymore because we've got, in California, we've got free and reduced lunch for everybody. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this money, but it's going somewhere and it'll be fun. And it'll probably be treat based. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and actually organize this desk drawer with the drawer inserts that I bought a full calendar year ago. Um, and then I think this will look pretty good. The middle of the room has bins of stuff that I have to deal with, but at least this side of the room will be taken care of because anything that doesn't make it back in is not going to make it over here in this area. I feel better, but I'm still overwhelmed, but I do, oh God, and I just remembered that whole thing full of files. Why can't you disappear? Go, go away. Oh, it's all stuff I use too. Well, I'm gonna figure it out. I've hit the wall, my friends. But I did do a lot. I got a lot of progress made. And I think this is just about ready to be done. So here's what we've got. You've seen the books down here, Dub double rows. Personal effects in the baskets down there. I've got things that I reach for with like passes and things, the books that I'll be teaching this year, and then everything else that's just mine, tucked away. Um, supplies, oh, sorry, you can't see that. Supplies and things like stamps and stamp pads and those sorts of items that I want at close reach, but I don't necessarily need like on my desk all the time because I don't want them there. There you go, here is a cart that I used to have by the front door and I would, when kids came in, I would go, anything from the trolley, dears? Um, I'm gonna find a new trolley, but this is gonna be great for right here. On top of this, I'm gonna put a smaller refrigerator that I have and I'm gonna swap out the big refrigerator to the theater because that's where I'll be late at night doing shows. Um, yeah, and then basically things are just kind of cleaned up and tidied and I am excited. I need to take this stool and my other chair and put them up on top of the tables so that next week our um, cleaner, like staff, cleaning staff, my gosh, I can't even talk, can come in and clean the carpets. So I'm gonna do that. But now I'm gonna let you go. <sighs> Basically the biggest lesson learned here is just do the thing. I was so overwhelmed that I just did, I just put on a podcast and I just did the thing and I threw out a lot of stuff. And I have a lot of things that are in little bins for like new teachers going into new classrooms and they can have stuff because I'm not using it, I'm just storing it and I don't need it. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, like this video so that you can see the other ones in this series and uh, I have more projects coming at you very soon. Bye.